Father in heaven, how we love you. We live to name. Our dear Heavenly Father, once again we thank you so much for the privilege that you have given unto us. Father, this evening we come together here to worship you, to praise you, and to know more about you. At this time we ask your Holy Spirit to be with us. Please be with us. We ask your presence to be with each and every one of us. Please let us not walk out of this house of worship empty, empty heart. Fill us with your Spirit. And Father, we also pray for those of them who could not come today. Please bring them next week so that we can all worship together. All this prayer I ask in Jesus' name. was over early four days somebody said he'll soon be here the Lord's on his way Martha ran to him and then she cried Lord if you have you could have healed him and still be alive. But your fault, they say, and all hope is gone. Though we don't understand why we waited so long, but his way is God's way. said, Martha, show me the grave. But she said, Lord, you don't understand. He's been there for days. The gray stone was rolled back. Then Jesus cried. Lazarus, comfort. Then somebody said, his life, his life. He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. 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 Friend, don't be discouraged. He's still the same. He'll soon be here. He'll roll by the stone. And he'll call your name. But your foot ain't slain. And your hope is gone.
few days ago, I was told by my friend of the Bad Angel family. And when I tried to console him, he said, Diak there, you don't understand. You don't understand the pain that I am going through. You don't understand the agony in my heart. And sometimes when we want to give, when we are giving consolation to someone, we want to be known as understanding them. We want to be known as feeling what they are experiencing. But sometimes it is true that we don't know what they are experiencing. You know, if I ask you about Mizoram, some of you know, may know about Mizoram. If I ask you, what do you know about Mizoram? You may say it is in a hilly place. You may say people living there are Mizo. And you may give me some discourses of it based on the knowledge that you have from your friend and the knowledge that you get from a book or somewhere that you read. But if I ask you what it feels like to be in Mizoram, to walk across the road and the, as, as the morning cold breeze runs through your face, you may not able to give me because you haven't experienced it. If I ask you about relationship, a broken relationship, what it feels like to be breaking up with our boyfriend or our girlfriend, you may tell me it is, it will be difficult or it may be paining. But do you know how it feels like to have numbness in our heart, to have that cloud that clouding our mind, a disbelief that fall in our heart, agony that run through our thoughts? Do you know what it feels like? If I ask you about joy of marriage, you may think, it is good the joy they, they must experience joy to be with their loved one but do you really know what beautiful it will be to be with their loved one the joy and happiness that they will have in their heart a commitment of unity that they have share sometimes we know what it might feel like but we do not know how it feels and the experience of it so if we walk across the road and see a pool and the needy who are sleeping by the roadside and we may look at them and say well they are very poor they, their life must be difficult their life must be challenging but do you know the bone chilling cold that they have to hear throughout the night hoping for the morning sun the shivering and shuddering of body that they have to bear throughout the night because of the winter breeze sometimes we don't feel them because we haven't experienced it in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 it says for we have not a high priest who cannot sympathize with us in our weakness but in all point was tempted yet without sin Jesus Christ the king of king came to this earth to be born on a manger Jesus Christ who has hosts of angels who are willing to follow him. He came to this earth to be left alone, to be abandoned on that garden of Gethsemane. Jesus Christ, who is the glorious king, came to this earth to die for us. Who is the creator of all the universe, the world, and you and me, came down to this earth to be killed, to be crucified by the people that he has created. Jesus Christ, who know what it means to be broken, who knows what it means to love, who knows what it means to lost and to found what he has loved. Today, you may not understand your friends, or you may feel like nobody is understanding you. You may feel like you are left alone in this world and no one understands your pain and your agony. Jesus Christ understands it all. Today, you may feel like you are left alone on this earth with no one understanding your pain. Jesus Christ underst understands what you are going through. And as Mizo Seminar are going to perform in this evening a, a skit and a song, I want all of you to feel them in your life, to, to, to be in the mood of it, to go through the lyrics of the song, to go through the skit that shall be performed that we shall richly bless in the name of our Heavenly Father.
be glorified. May God bless us as we see and take up this program. I understand you are nervous, but God is with us. God is leading us to this far. And I believe he will be with you in your journey and wherever you go, God will lead you. Let us keep, I'll keep you in my prayer and I believe God will do the best for us. Yes, I pray hard and I know you will, you will pray for me too. All of that, I'm late. 
It's time for the train to leave. I'll go. Okay, take care. I'll miss you too. I'll keep praying for you. Yes. Oh, my daughter, my daughter is leaving me now. I miss her. I miss her so much. Lord, please be with her and guide her. I know I fail as a father, but Lord, please continue to be with her. Lead her in her journey and be with her wherever she go. Give her health and strength. I pray you, Lord. I pray you. <laughs> hey, how are you, my friend? Hey, how are you doing? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, Please leave me for today. <laughs> what do you want? Do, don't you want to play with Big Bad Ben? <laughs> how are you doing? Please hey, leave me alone. Let's see, what is this? Come on, come on, let's see what you're wearing. Oh my, oh my, you're wearing specs. Wow, looks nice, yeah? Hey, come on, you can take this, take this, come on, take it back. Okay, okay, let me see what you're reading. Oh, come on, come on, show me the specs. Show me what you're reading, show me. Hey, what are you reading? Some Dumbo? What are you reading there? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Everyone, listen what he's reading. What this fool is all about. Mm -hmm. One day I will step on everyone who has tortured me. What? You think you want to do that to me? No way, my friend. No way. What's this? One day I'm going to roar like the lion? <laughs> you think it's possible? I don't think so. Get lost with this, man. <laughs> Take this. What's wrong with me? They always treat me this way. They just treat me like a dog. I won't let them do this to me. What's wrong with life? What happened? Everyone else seems to be so happy. But I'm so sad. I'm so sick of living. I get up for work. I sing a happy song. I go to the bar. I go to a restaurant. I sing for everyone. They all seem to like me, but I'm so sad inside here. It's empty. What's wrong here? Is it because I haven't prayed for so long? No, I know that God does not care for me anymore. I haven't talked to him for so long. I don't know what to do with my life. Hello? Hello, Betty. Is it me, John? Y yes. How are you doing today? Uh, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You know that we've got a lot of guests coming in tonight, right? Yes, yes, I sure. need a lot of song from you tonight. And yes. Make sure you're on time, all right? Yes, I will be on time. If you're late, you're fired. Yes. I hope you know that. I can trust you, right? Another sadness. I will have to go and sing for everyone. I don't feel the song that I'm singing. I wonder what all those people who are playing in the streets, laughing, I wonder if they're really happy or they're just sad like me or they're just hurt like me. What am I going to do? Oh, no, I'm late. Ding, ding. What? What? I'm fired? Fired? Lord, what happened? Please help me. You said you'll help me. If you're still there, please help me. I need you this time.
I'm so done with my life. What happened? What's the matter? You know, I work so hard. In fact, I work harder than anybody else. All of them get promotion. Mm -hmm. But why can't I? I don't understand. This is really unfair. Hmm. The same story, huh? The same story? Don't you get this? See, don't take it that way. I know it's hard. I know it's frustrated. But I want you to calm down. I want you to relax first and then we'll talk about it. Okay? Cool down. I can't calm down. You don't understand. I do understand you. I know you've been working so hard. I know you've been struggling. But see, think back. We asked God for your job and then he gave you this job. Don't he? God? God! Listen to me, honey, please. Listen to me first. Listen to me first. Now we're coming to this. What do we get now? I'm here, they are there. No, don't take it that way. Count his every blessings. It's his love and his blessings listen, that we're listen, still uh, listen. alive. See, honey, we don't I get anything. There's no benefit oh. at all. Honey, please sit down. Listen to me. Maybe God had a better plan for us, for your promotion or whatever. So why don't we I kneel don't and ask for God. him about it? I don't care about your God. No, honey, please listen to me. I know he loves you. You don't know what I'm going through. You just pray if you want. No, wait, I, I don't honey, care. Honey, please, let us kneel. Just go. You're listening or not? I'm praying in any way. Leave me alone. Lord, I know you're there. I need you, Lord. I need you. He needs you, Lord. Please, open his eyes, Lord. I know you do exist. I know you're hearing my prayer. Please, Lord. Please, I pray thee. Amen. What's wrong with my life? What's the point of living this life anyway? When all I get is hate, bullied, and loneliness. I wonder what it would be like if I was dead. Maybe that would be better. Excuse me, young man. Excuse me? What? Can you help me? Sorry, I'm busy. Uh, I'm looking for Mr. John. Do you know where his house is? I'm busy. I said I'm busy. Look, son. What happened? You seem to be in a lot of trouble. What happened to you? You have no idea. You know nothing. I know I know nothing. But you are young and you seem to be talented. What happened? What? Did you just say talented? No one would ever say that to me. You seem to have a lot of talent. Your stature and your look. And you know we all have a talent. Sometimes we just don't discover it. I think you have a talent. But I don't know what it is. Do you have anything that you like doing? Uh, yeah. I love to write, and I think I'm kind of good at it. But life is not like the movies. It's so hard for me. It's filled with struggle. I don't know what to do. You're right. Life sometimes isn't fair. The world is unfair. But by the look of you, you have come to this far, though you say that your life is a struggle. It seems you are very strong. You are stronger than you think, 
and if you stand strong enough, you're going to be okay. Don't let life knock you down. Life is a struggle, but stand up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in. You're going to be okay. Whoa. Do you really mean what you said? Yes, I believe in you. I believe you can do it. You are a talented man. You believe in me? Yes. Oh, you just lifted my spirit up again, you know? You just gave me new hope. I'm so fired up to live my life again. And, you know, I want to share this new hope with people who might be going through what I'm going through. Oh, thank you so much. That's okay. Can I pray with you? Oh, please. Hello? Hello? Is this Mary? Yes, I am. Oh, hello, Mary. I'm a friend of your dad. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's been diagnosed with cancer for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm very sorry to inform you that he passed away this morning. What? You know? Is this a joke? He was a My dad man. passed away? But Oh no, what am I so gonna sorry. do now? My dad. I can't live without him. What am I gonna do now? Dad, I'm gonna miss you so much. I still can't believe my dad has passed away. I haven't talked to him before. I haven't talked to him before she died. Excuse me? Yes? Is this Mary, Bill's daughter? Have we met before? Oh, no. No. But I was the one who called you oh, to inform really? you about your okay. dad's passing. Yeah, please sit down. Oh, you know, I really have to tell you this. Your dad. He was a hero to me. He saved my life. And whenever I went through trouble, he was always there for me. He taught me about God and how, how to be strong, you know, just like an angel sent from heaven. I will forever be grateful to your dad. Thank you for telling me that, yes, my dad was a hero. And you know what? I never missed my dad before, and I don't know how important my dad was to me. And I don't really deserve to be his daughter. Oh, no, please don't say that. You're so lucky to be his daughter. But you know, you can be your father's daughter right now. Why don't you start again? You can start right now. Yes, I have never thought that before. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for telling me that. Lord, I don't know if you're really here in this church. Or I don't even know if, you're, if you ever exist. If you're there, please show me that you're there. You know I'm miserable. I know, you know that I'm sick. I have
have a disease that you need to cure. Please send me someone or at, or at least let me see your face. Where are you? Please, where are you? Please, where are My you? My friend, I'm sorry if I interrupt you. No, not at all. Can you please sit down? You know, I want to tell you that you're not alone. God will definitely answer your prayers. I think you overheard my prayer. I don't know, but you don't know who I was. God will not accept me. I was not a good girl. You know, I was, my dad passed away a, a month ago and I was lost. But a friend told me that I can still be friends with God. And now I am. This is the answer to my prayers and the answer to your prayers. Really? God will not judge? No, God never judge people. So you mean he will listen to my prayers? Yes. Me? Yes. I'm still acceptable? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, of course, I'm sure. Wow, this is one of the best days of my life. I feel like a new person. I'm going to show it to others the, the same way you do it to me. I'm going to share it. I'm going to do that. And when I go back, I'm going to read the Bible. I'm going to start over again. Thank you so much for coming. This is wonderful. Actually, we're going to have a youth fellowship and it's just a small gathering. I. If you can come and share your testimony, that would be nice. Um, I don't know about that, but I will see, yes. Do, I, do you want me to pray for you? Sure, please. Okay, let's do. pray. Being beside me, and he was sharing, he will share us her testimony and we will invite her to sing to us. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Happy Sabbath. I'm very nervous to stand here, but there's something I need to share. I'm just a newly baptized member. I'm not even baptized yet. I'm just a newly member of this church. And it's just recently that I learned about God. The last time that I went to church was the time when I was a small girl. Now I, I can hardly remember. It's, it's too vague now to even mention it. So what happened was I was sad. I was lonely. I feel like there's nothing in this world. I was so, so, I feel so miserable. I thought my life was, I don't even know what the words to use. I thought my life was um, about to be over and I was even ready to take my life. But it was until I met this friend. Who tells me, who lets me know that God still likes me, God still loves me no matter what. She is my single ray of light. She tells me that God will still have his hold on me. So what I want to convey to you this afternoon, this evening is that let us be the single ray of light for someone. Let us start today, right here, right now in this moment, in this church. Let's go out, let's spread. Let's be someone for someone. You know, there are so many people in this world. And there's not a single person who does not need God. We all need God. So who else is going to do the work? Us. Let's start it right here. Right now. As we go out from the church, let's start spreading the word. To school or wherever we are. That's what I want to convey to you this evening, this afternoon. Please take it in your heart. And now I'm going to sing a song. I want to sing a song uh, entitled, You Say. And I want you all to please listen it with your heart. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Tells me I will never measure up. 
just a sum of every high and every low. Remind me once again just who I am because I need to know. Thank you so much. What a great testimony and a wonderful song. To wind up our program, let's all stand up and sing. I'm really sorry we, we have to go to cafeteria, but uh, I was standing there near the door, and all of us know that I am a backslider of this church. And I never come to the church. And I'm, I'm not happy with my job. And there are many things that, that really put me down. But hearing the song of this lady, I think I just met God again. And God accepted me again. I'm really glad. I just want to say that. And one thing, that's my wife right there. Honey, I'm really sorry for everything. I know you prayed for me many times, and I promise that God will be with us. That's all I want to say. Thank you.
a blessed day it is. Now I'll give okay. for a closing song we we call her True Magic Princess. Well, I hope we have been blessed with the program put up for all of us. A single ray of light it could be a single one. You could be a single one of the light of God. Speaking comfort to somebody, a little word of encouragement to the weary soul who is struggling, to the struggling, hardworking professionals. They have so much of void, emptiness in their heart, which nothing else, nobody else could fill, but only God. I hope this little skit, a small skit, speaks to every soul present here. Thank you so much to the airway department and the pastoral team for giving us this opportunity to serve the church in our small capacity. Thank you so much for valuing the love of God, sparkling, flickering, and blazing in the hearts of people. I pray that the mission, the vision, and the passion of this church be, be caught onto by the young people of this church. Merciful, loving, cunning, compassionate Father in heaven. Lord, we thank you for building up this institution, Spicer Adventist University. Thank you for the de dedicated staff. Thank you so much for the mission of this movement, the Seventh Adventist movement. Lord, we thank you so much for guiding us into this great truth from the darkness of the world and molding us and shaping us to become servants in your kingdom. We thank you so much for the blessings that we receive through this church, the Seventh Adventist. But Lord, there are so many who have not received the same blessings that we receive. In spite of the blessings, there are sometimes we are faced with different kind of challenges to grumble, to murmur, to criticize and to complain. But Lord, through a small skit that is performed as we witness, let that small thought of the skit speak to everyone present in this church that we may be able to find the purpose, the true purpose of our life, the high calling of service in your vineyard to prepare others as we prepare ourselves to go home. Lord, help us to recognize and be sensitive to the various ways and means as to how we can be serving others. Help us to take advantage of every moment within our own reach so that each and every single child, each and every single soul on this campus may produce the kind of ray, a single ray of light, the light of the world, that lives of many people may be touched through a little testimony. Bless all the programs, bless everyone, because we ask all these things, all this prayer in Jesus' name.